This video is comparing the Alpha Labs line EMI meter to the Graham Stetzer microsurge meter. You can see these two meters have different displays and they also use different units, but they're both measuring dirty electricity, which is one form of electromagnetic radiation found in almost every home and also anywhere there is electricity. So the line EMI meter right now is showing 14 or 15 millivolts, while the GS meter is showing between 26 and 28 GS units. These are both pretty good levels. What I noticed is that when I unplug one or both of these GS filters, the numbers changed. But I was surprised how they changed. So here we are with only one filter plugged in. And you can see the difference. The EMI meter has gone up to 24, 25 millivolts. And the GS meter has gone up slightly, but not that much. So now with no filters plugged in, you can see the line EMI meter has gone up to 60 to 65 millivolts while the GS meter has gone up again just slightly to about 33. What I think this shows is that the effectiveness of the filters is not always represented in the GS meter. As much as I can suggest having a GS meter and using these filters. I think having the second way to confirm the levels is a good way to know how useful the filters actually are. And this is probably just because of the frequency range of each meter. I hope you found this interesting. Comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe. Thanks.